Hi, I'm at the Gamblers General Store in Las Vegas, and I'm speaking with Gene Scott. Uh, and our topic today is stretching your casino bankroll. Now, Gene, you're the author of uh, several books, and I I've known you, gosh, about 20 years now. Can you give people uh, some information on your background about your uh, previous work? Well, I started writing books about 15 years ago, and I've kind of kept up with that, different versions, uh, different subjects, but all on gambling. Uh, recently, I just finished my last book, or at least the last one I've written so far, and uh, I felt compelled to write it because things are changing so much in the casino. Some of the things I wrote about wrote about and talked about in the past, people thought, we can't do what you did 15, 20, 25 years ago, and that's true. So I wanted to help people learn how to do better in the casino, how to stretch their casino bankroll in today's environment. Okay, now you started with, uh, your first book was uh, Frugal Gambler, and then you had uh, more Frugal Gambling. And now your new book is Frugal, Ga Frugal Gambler Casino Guide. So your emphasis now is on how to lose less as opposed to how to be a, a, uh, an advantage gambler. That's true. It's very difficult to beat the casinos these days. It was easier back in the old days, as I, I usually call them, the good old days. Actually, I wrote those two books. I also wrote a book on frugal video uh, called Frugal Video Poker, which was specifically on one game because that was the game we played. And I felt the need to cover all the casino games in a casino because not everybody wants to play video poker. There are so many other games. And the main emphasis is any game you find in a casino if you learn a little bit more about it, you can lose less. Okay, now, now every game in a casino is based on math, where the, where the casino has a mathematical advantage over the players. Now, do you have to be good at math to, uh, uh, to play all these games? <laughs> That's a question that people ask me all the time. I'm not a math person. Well, if you've listened to me or read my stuff, you realize that was I a math mathematician before I started gambling. No, I was an English teacher. And math is not one of my strongest subjects or areas. I'm pretty good at reading other people's math that have figured it out and using it. So no, you do not have to be a genius, a math genius, to do better in the casino. So what I want to do is I want to give you some ideas on being a, just an ordinary recreational player. You want to have fun in the casino. Your goal is to be entertained, not to make money. You hope to make money. You hope to hit jackpots. But in the meantime, you want to be entertained, have fun. So I want to first give you some ideas where you can lose less money or make the money you have last longer with some no-brainer things. You don't have to know even first grade math. Okay, well, what, what are some uh, good examples that you can give us? All right, two concepts here. Go down in denomination and play slower. Now, some examples of that, of going down in denomination. Let's say you're playing blackjack. You have a choice often of playing green chips, $25, or red chips, that's a $5 chip. Now, it doesn't take a mathematician to realize that you're going to lose less in an hour playing red chips than green chips. Well, you say, I'm not gonna win as much. Let's go back to another basic concept the casino for most people has an edge over every player no matter what game you play so you want to be you're fighting that edge all the time so if you put 
less money down, you're putting less money at risk and you're going to lose less. Your money's going to last longer. That's going down in denomination. Same way for slots. If you play dollar slots, you're going to lose a little over $50 an hour playing dollar slots. For one thing, it's a fast game. If you go down to quarter slots, your average loss is going to be about $20 or more an hour. Well, it doesn't take a mathematician to realize that if you go down in denomination, you will be fighting the casino edge with less money. The second thing is you need to play slower, put less money at risk. An example of that is you go to a blackjack table and you, you see it's really crowded. Jump in there if there's a seat open because you're going to play fewer hands and when you're playing fewer hands, you have less money at risk. You go and play heads up with the dealer, you're losing money fast, fast, fast. Now for me, years ago, I used to play blackjack, but, but, but I found that, and I was not a high level player, but I found that the counts are not very good. I always found that it was much better to play video poker. So, so you think video, uh, or, or I guess slot machines, but you lose too much on slot machines. All right, well I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about individual games a little later with you. Uh, but before we do that, I want to talk about what things you can do that are not the no-brainers that I just gave you, that take a little bit of effort. You don't have to be a mathematician, but you have to put forth a little bit of effort. And that is look for ways to find extras. I love the word extras. That means you're getting things that are extra to the game. Now the obvious first choice there is to join the slot club. Now not all slot clubs are equal. Some, a few these days, give you point you get points and you can turn those in for cash. That's extra cash besides whatever you win or lose on the game. Most of them give you things like free play, which is something that will extend your time because there's some money that you can play uh, for a longer time. Then there are extras that the casino offer, like tournaments, uh, drawings, uh, special days where you have extra points given. I want to talk a little bit about tournaments because this is a really good way in Vegas and in some other places also, casinos will run free tournaments with no fee to join just to get people into their casino or some have just small entrance fees that and that tournament might last two or three hours. You might have to play a couple sessions and then you might have to go back and so forth. That's a really good time saver because once you either have the free tournament or just a small amount uh, of entrance fee, then you're putting in time to absorb the fun atmosphere of the casino with a chance to win a, a jackpot, win something, and you're not putting any extra money at risk. So I really like those tournaments. For locals, uh, in lots of places, the poker room sometimes runs small tournaments, uh, maybe with a small entrance fee, but they maybe last for an hour, two hours, three hours. That's another way to stretch your bankroll because it takes up time. Um, coupons are another way to do extra, get extras because the one time that you're not fighting the casino edge is when you use coupons. Now, I've talked a lot about this. In fact, I used to be called the queen of coupons before I was the queen of comps. And you don't win every time you, lose a, you use a coupon. But if you use enough coupons, one of the most fun things we've ever done down through the years, and we still do that, particularly if we have family or friends come in, is we go on coupon runs. 
we run all over the city laughing and, and playing whatever coupon we have. And if you play in almost all circumstances, if you play long enough, you have enough people or you play enough time, you're going to have an advantage over the casino. So it's definitely an extra. It's extra money that you might earn above the game. And also, it's a time, it's a time that you're not playing when the casino has the edge. So it's like there's two ways. You're down in denomination and you're up in time spent. The, uh, a lot of people don't understand that, that if you can use those gambling coupons, yes, you, you do have a mathematical edge over the, uh, over the casino. And I have, in my past years, I, I did coupon runs myself, and I don't think we ever lost money when we were using gambling coupons. Now, now those are sort of simple ideas, but, but what, what about some other ideas that people can use that might take a little more extra effort above and beyond uh, the simpler ones? Okay, now here comes the nitty-gritty. If you never want to study, you never want to think, you're, you're always going to, the, the casino's after you. You're the kind of player that they want. They want dumb players. So if you want the casino's edge not to be so great, you can study every game in the casino, and then there's ways that you can, in fact, in this new book I just wrote, that's one chapter I call the smorgasbord of casino games. I talk about every single game in a casino and then put how you can lose less on each one of those games. I even have hints on how you can lose less at Casino War or the Big Wheel, you know, those are noted to be real bad bets uh, and the casino makes a lot of money. So here's some of the ways that I have covered in the book and I want to share with my fans that want to be frugal but they don't want to necessarily go to gambling school and learn all the ins and outs. The first way, there are a bunch of games that you, if you just learn a better strategy now some of these, the strategies are pretty simple, like let it ride, three card poker, Car Caribbean stud. Um, there are just a few simple strategies that will reduce your losses. Whenever you reduce losses, you are extending your bankroll. Then, if you want to take it a step further, there's blackjack and there's video poker, both of which takes a lot more study. But even if you do a little study on those, learn basic strategies for things, you're going to reduce your losses. So look for games that where you can do a better strategy. Then there are a lot of games where you just need to choose better bets within the game. Craps is a good example because there are, I, I have not counted how many different ways you can bet on the crap table. Uh, there are either s even some bets that people make up and there's no, on the layout, there's no place to put that, but you can call it out to the dealer and so forth. It's a pretty complex game, but all these exotic bets in craps, you will lose so much more than if you learn which bets just have a small edge. That's what I tell my son. Now, my, my son loves to play craps, and he loves these all tall, small bets at the top of the table. And I tell him all the time, Matt, you stop making those bets. And you know what he does? He keeps making those bets. Well, he, he, he likes it. Some people like to gamble, you know. Yeah. What can you do? Well, I'm not telling anybody what they have to do. I've been, I've been accused of that. You want to turn everybody into video poker players. Mm -hmm. No, I've got beyond that now because I realize, <laughs> I realize that not everybody is looking for the best math advantage. They're looking for fun. But I'm just trying to say, Matt or anybody else, you can have all the fun at the crap table and stick with those, you know, just 
place a bit and, and uh, front line bet and so forth. You can yell and scream with the whole table. Uh, I'm not going to try to convince anybody, though, that wants to do it otherwise. Now, back to that slots thing. More people play slots than any other casino, so I wanted to kind of end up with that because people say, okay, but I love slots. All right, play slots, play the very lowest you can. Recently, my family was in town, and they love to play slots, so I know you my public won't believe this, but they saw us playing slots for hours on end at different casinos, playing slots with my family. However, we were jumping from machine to machine. We were having fun, and we would play one machine, and when we hit the bonus, we'd go and go to another one. We did not win any money. We lost money. But considering all the entertainment time that we had, but here's some of the things that reduced our losses. We only played one machine, and the other three of us were around rooting for wh whoever was playing that machine. We would only play the minimum bet. If the minimum bet was one penny per line or whatever the minimum bet was, we would play that. We were having just as much fun. So if you're playing penny slots, and I'm never going to talk about people again because I think they're some of the most fun that you can have in a casino. Play the minimum because you are going to lose, especially if you play it long term. The casino has a big edge on those penny machines. They're going to grind away. But take your entertainment. Remember, this is entertainment money. If you go play golf and, and spend a whole lot of joining a, a golf club, country club, you're going to spend money, you know, so it's all right. Go to the casino with your entertainment money. Don't expect to win, but try to increase your time as much as you can. And go low. In fact, go low and go slow. That's what Anthony Curtis always says. The lowest denomination, go low and go slow. Take up as much time as you can for your so you're not fighting the casino edge. All right, that's all very good advice. And uh, it's all in your new book, The Frugal Gambler Casino Guide. If people want to get more information on the book or, or you and your background and your writing, where can they do that? Well, I write a blog a couple times a week so that they can kind of follow me along what we do. And it, it tells a lot of gambling hints, but it also tells our out of personal life. People like to know, are we winning, are we losing, do we have new techniques? Uh, any of my books you can buy at Huntington Press. Uh, incidentally, all the old books that I've written are still available. And they, they have some valuable information because I took 31 years of gambling and tried to put it in this new book, and that means I couldn't, one book, I couldn't cover everything. But when you get those other books, realize some were written 10, 15 years ago. Not every little detail is exactly right now because the casinos have changed. This new book is the one that will tell you the general way to cope with this new casino environment. Okay. Gene Scott, author of The Frugal Gambler Casino Guide. Thank you very much for spending time with us today. Glad to be here. Don't forget that you can see more of our educational gambling videos on our YouTube channel. Just go to youtube.com slash American Casino Guide.